Let's get salty! Everyone, Zeddy here with a brand new video, and today is the day that we get a brand new card added to Hearthstone. We still don't know a ton about it, but I've sleuthed, I've dug around in trying to, you know, review the card. So we're gonna review the card today, take a look at all the information we have. Of course, it's going to go live. Well, we'll talk about it in a second in this event. And I also wanted to talk about the updated weekly quests that did go live and people are really pissed off about it, despite the fact we were told about it like a couple weeks ago. Again, it still sucks. We'll, we'll talk about exactly what I'm talking about in case you did miss that news and you're like, why in the hell do I have to win five games now? We'll go over that. And as always, if you enjoy the content on the channel, feel like I've earned your subscription, please hit that sub button down below. Give the video a like as we're on the road to 90,000 subscribers. And I wanna thank you guys. You guys have been subbing and doing all that stuff like crazy without a giveaway, which is really nice. So thank you all for that. So yes, uh, today, uh, a little bit like four hours or so after this video goes live, the in-game event, Warcraft Anniversary celebrating I think 30 years of Warcraft overall will be going live I don't know the details of the quest I'm sure Emic data mined it and I didn't see his tweet for it but we can see that the first weekly quest we get is worth 400 points so basically complete that weekly you will unlock the brand new card which is the Champions of Azeroth the first ever collectible epic neutral spell Th that's technically true we've had collectible legendaries like the sunwell and i guess the coin's not really collectible but you could get the coin uh as a neutral spell but regardless we're going with that it's it's that and the card reads choose alliance or horde get two of their legendary champions and reduce their costs by two so i looked at the wiki for this card and we actually have some information on it so far um, it's kind of interesting goes over like the event and how to unlock it and all that shows what the uh, tokens will look like if you play duels they'll look awfully familiar with for the alliance for the horde and it does say champions of Atheros, uh, azeroth is hearthstone's first collectible non-legendary neutral spell there we go and the, yeah they mentioned the Sunwell, and they do mention the first of uh, the choice cards Feature the members of the mercenaries. I don't know if this has been confirmed, but they're saying they do where you could get like Tavish. That seems like, why would you? I, I don't see it. Zarella, Cariel, Kurtris, uh, Scabs. Oh no, Nova. Nova's not here. It's okay. Just don't tell Nova. And that you got the alliance side of like Brukan, Guff back to standard, Rakara, and Varden Dongrass. I don't know if this is actually going to be the case or if that's more like what it was uh, in what in mercenaries that mode, but it, they are stating that. And today I was used to duels with like Vandar and Drekthar and all that. And interesting tidbit: they say Champion of Azeroth's card ID W O N one one three indicates it was perhaps originally planned to be released in the Caverns of Time set. All new cards in the Cavern of Time also have an idea that starts with W-O-N, short for Wonders, one of the twist formats. This is further supported by the artwork itself being a desert-like setting with silhouetted, silhouetted, oh my God, that, that's that's a clip if you want one, a uh, flying around indicating that it is depicted in Silithus where the story of Caverns of Times take place. There are also Drachnoids of the infinite Dragonflight visible in the art. So yeah, they got, got a low quality version of the art, but yeah. It's going live today. We don't know the official card pool. They're saying the Mercs will show up. I don't I don't know where this information came from, but it's there. Um, and Emic did tweet out back when it came out in the game or saw it um, that he had caught in Theo, that nasty priest players uh, gameplay that he did create a couple of cards using it. He got like a six mana Tyrion. He got a one man, oh no, one mana Bran, Bran back. It's, I hope the pool's big. I don't want to see Bran reliably, not again. And Mark did comment that he got Gromash and Lorthamar from a horde pick. So for four mana, you're getting a considerable amount of stuff, right? You're getting two, probably just give me legendaries, right? Well, legendary champions, obviously legendaries. And you get two, uh, discover them, right? Or do you get to, you know, you just choose and then you get to them. I don't think you get to discover the option. So probably not going to be a super reliable card, but it's a value bomb. And if I know anything about Hearthstone lately, and I keep overrating cards that are value bombs, that it probably won't be a meta card, kind of fall in the line of like the Hearthstone brews of the world, those type of cards that are just fun to play, 
can let players like, you know, relive some memories by getting some random legendaries from the past. And uh, yeah, the, I think it'll be like a two out of five in standard, a one in wild, where, you know, you'd never play this in wild. It in standard a little slow, but again, maybe like a thief rogue can use it or just druid, druid in general, just getting more big legendaries. But with kill jadens of the world and the crazy value you got in the game, you're going to create it by this sometimes when you're discovering spells or, you know, a random spell effect goes off. That's when this card's going to emerge more than anything like Yogg casting this. That's when you're going to see it. I don't think you're going to hard run it in a competitive deck, but you can have some fun with it. And yeah, it should be unlockable today. I feel like this first quest will probably be doable. And then you get that basic version. And then later on, we'll get the golden version, a new card back and a new portrait. So something to look forward to. And then, yeah, the other thing I noticed today, oh, come on at the Hearthstone subreddit. No way, it's somehow better. Uh, we'll miss you so much. All these posts about the weeklies being updated to the older versions. It's basically back to this, right? It's back to, you gotta win games now. You gotta win half as, you know, it's instead of play 10, you win five, which is actually harder than playing 10 and you get less XP. But, it, so it's basically a lie to them saying that we're gonna get easier quests to complete. But we did know that this was kind of coming, right? We had that blog, but it doesn't make it feel any better. I don't understand why if they're gonna like make, why not just make it play? Why does it need to be when people are, I don't know. It, it just, it's such a much more comfortable experience to just ha be able to play and not worry about winning and being able to just mess around with whatever dumb deck you have, especially in a meta right now where it's like you're facing elemental mages and quasar rogues and Reno decks. It's pretty hard to beam around and be, you know, not slaughtered. So you gotta kind of try hard. And again, that can take the fun out of it. That's why I like the, uh, just play. You can play whatever the heck you want. They get the engagement, you're still playing the game. It feels really bad, but yeah, they basically, they messed up. They messed up really bad, like half a year ago, where they implemented those new weeklies that were like, what, five times harder, but they gave us like a third of more XP. And then they let us keep that XP for a bit while making the quest easier. And then eventually, like, okay, can we go back to what we had with you guys? We like that more. It, it made our bottom line better somehow. And that's where we're at. And again, I think it sucks. I, I have relayed my feedback of it'd be a lot nicer if it was just you leave it at play, right? I think if they just left it at that, I think it'd be a lot less complaints, even though the XP is less. But yeah, the XP is less. We got a couple more packs on uh, the rewards track as compensation, but really didn't make up the overall value. It's just crappy. It's just crappy. And there's been a lot of that this year. And hopefully uh, tomorrow's announcement, which we'll talk about more tomorrow, and I'll be uh, live streaming, reacting to it on the Warcraft thing. They're, apparently they put out this tweet. We're going to have info on Hearthstone in 2025. Hopefully that'll be like some of the first good news we've received all year besides just like some fun expansions, right? Like it's not been a great year for uh, for news at Hearthstone. So let's hope tomorrow that's good. We'll, we'll talk about that tomorrow. Give you guys some reminder, there's drops and all that. And uh, yeah, these weeklies, they stink. They're not, they're not cool. And I wish it just said play. And I think a lot more people will be really happy. And again, log in today, get that card, see what those cards are that we could get. Hopefully we could get a full list at some point. I don't know if we'll make a video on it, but hopefully we can do that. But yeah, try out the new card today. And if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Have a great day and stay salty, my friends.